Las Vegas Raiders have added another solid assistant coach to their darn near all-star staff. This one is Frank Oakham, hired Thursday to be their defensive line coach. Oakham played in the NFL from 2008 to 2013 with the Houston Texans, Seattle Seahawks, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and New York Giants. At 6'5", 350 pounds, he's big enough to scare his defensive line into playing well. <laughs> but seriously, he's an ascending coach that took over as the Carolina Panthers defensive line coach in 2021 after serving as the team's assistant defensive line coach in 2020. And his defensive line went from number 24 in the NFL in sacks with 29 to 15 with 39. I guess this is another case of good coaches bringing good coaches from previous jobs. Oakham was with New Raiders defensive passing game coordinator Jason Simmons in Carolina. But the big question I have is can he get something out of 2019 number 4 overall Cleveland Furl? After struggling as a rookie, Furl vowed to show up a different man when he came back for a sophomore season. And even though it didn't show up statistically, he really did. He was 15 pounds heavier at around 280 pounds and looked just as fast if not faster than he was as a 265 pound rookie. He also looked like he got the hang of rushing the passer from the interior. That was something he struggled mightily with as a rookie as the Raiders planned to use him as a 4-3 base in and kick him inside to rush the passer at times. And just as it started to look like he was working out. Furl had a shoulder injury that forced him to miss the rest of the season after week 13. Then in year 3, I couldn't understand why the Raiders had him lose that weight and move to defensive end full time, especially after the Raiders picked up Yannick Ngakwe that offseason. But that didn't really matter as reports came out that Furl was in the doghouse for his unwillingness or inability to play with this shoulder injury. Head coach John Gruden must have held that against him because the Raiders lost 3 of their last 4 without him. The fact that Max Crosby played the majority of that season with a torn labrum probably sealed Furl's fate with Gruden. Furl would obviously need to go somewhere to get a fresh start to reach the potential he has. You can argue over him being selected number 4 overall but he does have talent that hasn't been used. If he were to bulk back up to 280 pounds, he would make a good 3-4 in, which would work out well for new defensive coordinator Patrick Graham's defense. He has 34 inch long arms that are perfect for a 2 gap 3-4 in. He really doesn't have speed or bend to be disruptive off the edge. But as he started to show in 2020, he does have the speed and quickness to disrupt as a pass rusher as a 3 technique to go with his length as a 3-4 in. Well, Oakham has a big assignment within his duties as the Raiders defensive line coach. Can he help Furl regain his confidence with the fresh start he needs at 3-4 end? Or is it too late? In 2020, just when Furl looked like he was figuring out rushing the passer from the inside and the outside, he was lost for the season and Gruden never forgave him for that. So I can't help but wonder if Oakham can get something out of him as a 3-4 end. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.